My nap at the Cheltenham Festival is going to be Galvin in the Gold Cup itself. The way he got the better of Aplu Tard impressed me last time out. Of course, last year's runner-up in the race. And I think that Galvin's going to be the horse to come out on top in this year's very competitive renewal. Well, there's certainly no sitting on the fence as far as the Arkle is concerned. My nap in that race is the Alan King-trained Edward Stone. He was mightily impressive in winning the Kingmaker at Warwick. He's already a Grade 1 winner, of course. He travels strongly, jumps brilliantly, and I think he's tailor-made for this Arkle test. I think Dan Scott's going to have a really good festival. The one I'm really keen on is Protectorate, who ran so well with a romp in the many clouds at Aintree. He's twice the winner at Cheltenham, and he's just the unexposed sort of chaser that could belie big odds in the Gold Cup. Nap of the festival goes in the Potemp Cent on Thursday, Sire de Berlay in the green and gold. His record over this course and distance is 1-1-2 after that good second in the Stayers Hurdle last year as well. And he'll be looking to make history by winning the race for the third time. Best bet of the Cheltenham Festival for me, day one, the Arkle Chase, Edward Stone, of course, has been uh, tremendous all season, lovely jumper of fences, we'll get the race absolutely set up for him as well with a really strong gallop, and I think it's still pretty good price, will be favourite, but it's not as short as one or two of the, the jollies on the card there, but I still think has all it takes to get the job done, Edward Stone and the Arkle for me. My banker at the festival is going to come in the bumper and it's Facile Vega. He really lived up to his name on two outings to date in Ireland. He was absolutely dominant on both of them. And of course, he's bred for success as well by Walk in the Park and out of Kay Vega, an iconic mare at Cheltenham where she's won six times the mare's hurdle. Edward Stone. I've been super impressed with him. He was a very high class handicap hurdler. He seems to be getting better the older he gets. He's relaxing a lot more. And because of that, he's finishing his races off to greater effect. He's definitely a one in the second race on the Tuesday. My Cheltenham banker is Lom Presse. He's just been so impressive since being sent over fences. The thing is, we pigeonhole Venetia Williams' horses and wanting very deep ground. I don't think he does. I think he'd be better on better ground. Get on, Lom Presse. My nap of the week goes to the Martin Piper race and it's Langer Dan for the Skeltons. Dan's a terrific target trainer and has kept this horse fresh for this race after finishing second last year. He's been off the track until a recent run around Taunton. That'll have blown away the cobwebs and off just a £2 higher mark. Langer Dan got to be awfully hard to beat in the Martin Pipe. My banker for the festival is Champ in the Stayers Hurdle. We know he has the class to bag a festival race having won the RSA. OK, that was over the larger obstacles, but on his penultimate start at Ascot, boy, he looked an exciting recruit to these ranks, taking care of a former champ in Paisley Park and some of the other main protagonists. They're sure to go a really good gallop, which will ensure that Champ can be victorious and crowned champion at the festival once again.